Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. All right, so we have a little presentation here. We are going to run through form liners and staining, which will be very exciting. Um, any questions that anybody has, please interject and ask them throughout the presentation. Don't feel shy about that, and uh, we'll have fun. So my name is David Ellis, everybody, and I work for a company called NACA. What we do is we change the color of concrete, masonry, stucco, brick, mortar, and we create these amazing finishes. And uh, we'll go through some slides and show you some of these finishes. Nawcaw has been in business for over 30 years. We're a global company. We, uh, we're in Australia, New Zealand, all across North America. And uh, what we did basically pioneered the system because we used to go when they'd send the wrong brick to a house, uh, we'd stain it to make it look correct. So the company is owned by Russell Gray, uh, a fantastic gentleman, uh, lives in Athens, Georgia, where our head office is. So basically, the, the end of this presentation is I don't want anybody to paint an exterior surface ever. Uh, staining is the way you want to go. There's lots of high quality uh, stains on the market. Uh, potassium silicate is the one we recommend, but uh, there is high quality stains on the market. The reason that this occurs is the blistering is because water will get through any substrate. It's not a solid, solid surface. It will get in and out. Air needs, it needs to breathe. It needs to UV resistant. It will deteriorate the paint. The paint is a mechanical bond on the surface and not actually penetrating into the surface. Uh, the fading, the reason the fading happens is because most paints have organic pigments and organic pigments will, will fade with sunlight and UV damage. Uh, like I said, they're, they're penetrative, they go into the surface, they use the free lime and salt in the surface or in the substrate to chemically bind with it and form a molecular structure so you can go over top of it. The longevity, uh, not cause stains, have a 25 year warranty on them. Most uh, high quality stains on the market will have somewhere around there or 10 years on the market. I like to be impartial when I talk to people because there is other stains on the market, but potassium silicate is the one that you want that will work and last the longest. Like I said, the, there's very minimal, no VOC. Uh, I wouldn't drink it, but you probably could. There's no volatile organic content in the stain at all. And it's basically just a silicate binder, water, and some additives that our crazy chemist designed to put in it. Like I said, it's penetrating into the surface. Uh, it's very abrasive resistant. I wouldn't recommend anything more than a rubber stopper, but it will hold up and last. This is just a couple projects we did. This is a tilt-up project in Woodstock, Ontario, where they built an entire concrete house, and then they said, can you make it look like wood, brick, stone? That's all just gray concrete that was stained. And that was the finished project. Uh, Tilt-up booth is directly down there beside 8134, and it was the owner's home that we did. This is for Stubby's Precast. They, uh, they built an entire building and put form-lined walls inside their concrete building, and they said, come make them look pretty for us. So our color technicians came on site, made the color on site, and created these wood looks. They did a lighter barn board finish. Uh, cedar plank, which turned out fantastic, and this is all just gray concrete that the color technicians created this look with. Uh, this was one of their water features. The reason we like this slide is because patching occurs with concrete. It happens. You're never going to get a perfect piece of concrete, but we can blend out certain areas, we can cover them. It depends on the opacity of the stain. We can go right from a completely semi-transparent to a fully opaque. Uh, it's a brick form liner. They wanted an Endicott, a glazed look on it. Just a stone wall. They're, this is very popular in the States uh, along with uh, bridge embankments and uh, finishing under bridges. You'll see a lot of them in Canada too. All, all along the 407, they're putting these stone architectural finishes on the concrete, which looks fantastic. This was the owner of Tricrete Precast. He built a, a cabin uh, up in Collingwood, and they said, you're not allowed building a concrete house or a concrete cottage. He built it, I guess with permission. We stained it, and it turned out uh, like that. The home inspector came and looked at it. Couldn't tell it wasn't wood. 
just different finishes with metallics, uh, silver. Yet again, these are all the potassium silicate stains that you can create these, these finishes with the metallics. This actually was US four miner. Uh, took a, an elephant, had to be tranquilized. Nobody was hurt, not the people. But the, uh, and they put a rubber form on the elephant and peeled it off, and that's an elephant skin. And we just stained it with our silver stain to kind of give it a little bit more of a look. Different forms and designs. This one was a tricky one. The architect had a really specific idea of what they wanted because it was a one feature wall on a building. So it was a, a total precast building, and they just wanted one feature wall to stand out. So layering the stains and, and creating the look that they wanted. Um, if a customer or designer or anybody comes to you and says, OK, we have an idea. We want it to be marble granite, we can create that finish and that look. All you have to do is give us a sample of what you'd like, and it can be created. This designer was insane. Uh, they came to us and said, OK, I want you to do it with no stencils. This entire building, we want you to do it. And it took three months to complete that with zero stencils. And it was just a brick and mortar building. This is in Brampton, Ontario, a senior citizen center. Uh, all gray concrete that we formed in, or made look like wood and stone and brick. Kitchener, Ontario. This is a medical center. For some reason, they thought it'd be a good idea to make it lime green, because everybody thinks of medical with lime green, which I don't. Just different, different colors, all gray concrete. Uh, this is very popular in Toronto. We, we have tons and tons of buildings going up with architectural uh, precast that has these finishes on the outside. It's structural precast, it's structural concrete, and then they just put a fancy finish on the outside. In two seconds, Nate's going to get up here and talk about how amazing innovative brick is and the way they form these. Uh, just a dingy little mechanical room. They wanted to spice up, so we spiced it up. Uh, this was, uh, I, I find that this is happening a lot too. This was uh, another medical center and they just, they want to make it look interesting and make it feel a lot more comfy at home. So they decided they wanted to build a new building and make it look old. So this is, this copper patine look was created. It was just a gray concrete building. I keep saying that over and over. You guys get it. It's just gray concrete, right? This was my favorite. It's a museum. Parking structures. Uh, data centers and parking structures are the biggest thing in 2020. There's so many parking structures going up. I guess there's the population is rising. And we're coming near the end here. Uh, the stains, they work fantastic on vertical surfaces. They also work on horizontal surfaces, but we don't offer any warranty with them. Because of in Canada, we use de-icing products, we use a, um, chemicals that go on the ground, and it will eat away at the concrete, it'll eat away at the stain. So we try and stay away from any horizontal surfaces. We have done those applications, we just stay away from it. This is uh, in Australia, an airport. Just different highlights on GFRC panels. This is in Sydney, Australia. Uh, that look was very difficult to create because the, the people in the apartments didn't want to have bright colors. So what it was done is they put a, a first coat of a white and then very thin coat of the red and yellow. So when you're up close to it, you can't see that bright color. But if you stand back, they, they look like bright colors. Uh, NACA is, uh, like I said, been in business 30 years. We, if you look at any Tim Hortons that is going to charcoal gray, that's our stain. If you see any McDonald's that went uh, to lighter gray, that's all our stain. Integral color in concrete. I always try and steer people away from that because they use organic pigments when they put the integral color in because it has to work with the mixed design and it will fade. And then when you go afterwards and you have to do patching, the patching's never gonna look the same. So we always push everybody to use us and have us just make the concrete and we'll stain it. And then you don't have any of those problems. The architects said they wanted a natural look when they got what was on the left. They decided that wasn't the look they wanted. So using semi-transparent, just blending, blending that area out. And coming near the end, yet again, all the color technicians can make color on site. So if there's a blemish or there's an area on the wall and you don't want to stain the whole surface, you can just blend that one area out. Uh, this is in Chicago. They uh, went with a hardy board plank and ended up staining it just gray, which seems mind-boggling to me. 
uh, Veterans Memorial Museum, and that's it. So I'm going to pass this over to Nate now. Nate is a fantastic person, and uh, enjoy. All right. Thank you, Dave. Uh, my name's Nate Scott. I work for uh, Innovative Brick, and we make a uh, form liner for precast concrete, which allows you to embed uh, thin brick into the face of the panel. Um, as you can see, this is the, uh, it actually acts as a template, so you lay this in the precast forms, and um, then the guys go through, place all the brick down, and then you pour the concrete on top of that. After you've erected the panels, you tear the uh, plastic off the face, and that allows you to have the uh, brick wall. Um, we have a lot of different patterns. Uh, we work with um, architects and contractors on any kind of pattern design that you need. Um, we have a lot of standard product types, but then we can also make any kind of custom design. And we don't just do embedded brick, we also have plastic, which you can pour the concrete directly onto for certain patterns like a, uh, a faux stone liner. And then um, for corner units and things, we have a lot of uh, specific little detailed pieces for that as well. Um, our company, we work with um, architects and we do a lot of 3D drawings as well. So for um, sales samples, if you ever need anything like that, we're more than happy to produce a Revit drawing for you. And um, what I wanted to talk about, we did a job in uh, up in Seattle or uh, Washington State University um, where the architect had a idea on brick where they wanted the tilt to uh, um, pretty much fade from a 12 degree um, and then as you go up the panel it slightly turns into a wave so on the building you see this wave pattern um, sorry let me get to that um, so the liner that we had to build for this job was actually, it took a lot of work with the uh, uh, tooling that we do with our CNC router. But um, you can see how as the bricks go up the side, um, it was just a really complicated job. But again, if you need a custom look like that, this was something that uh, masonry, it would have cost probably five times the amount just because trying to get masons to do something like this would be impossible, almost impossible. And then here's some, so this is a photo, another photo of the liner that we uh, supplied. But then you can see how that's a real clean look after they come back through. Um, they also use a acid etch or uh, just a power washer to kind of clean the uh, little bit of leakage, the concrete that gets on the face of the brick. And we also wax the brick prior to putting them into the forms. That way, when you power wash it, all that concrete washes off and you get a nice clean finish. And then these are just a few photos of um, some of the sample panels they produced. And then this is the actual job. We don't always like doing jobs like this just because it's extremely complicated, but we, we, uh, we're really happy the way that it's turned out. And that's it. Thank you.